Hey guys, Skillet here. Uh, caddy for Nick Taylor, won the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am last week. Uh, Nick Taylor was feeling really well going into the, uh, really good going into the week about his game. You know, the last year or so has been playing great. Um, I think one of the key moments was the very first hole of the tournament at Monterey Peninsula. Hit it four feet, made an eagle. And from then on, it was really just keeping it rolling. And, you know, for him to go wire to wire was super impressive. Um, I think one of the key, obviously the key moments are, the only basically thing I provided for Nick was, you know, basically obviously support, but going into that last round, you can see maybe just a little bit nervous playing with Phil in the last group. And we just remind, I just reminded him that it was just him and I out there not Phil, nothing about his crowd. We knew the crowd was gonna be against us, which obviously it was. And he was able to just stay as calm as he could possibly be and obviously came through. It was a great moment for both of us. Did you celebrate at all? It was a really low key celebration. We were both exhausted. I think being in the lead um, for three nights and then in the last group with the lead and the conditions on Sunday were really windy and really tough. It became a U.S. Open almost, and yeah, we we did the, he did his media obligations, and I think they ordered some pizzas, and I drove to San Jose and kind of went to bed. It was really low key, no celebrating. We're gonna do a little dinner tonight though in L.A. Yeah, it's been a long time. My last win was in 07, so basically 13 years between wins, a lot of grinding. I mean, a lot of of hard work, and for me and my family, it means a lot. Obviously, the money is great, and and you know, but that's not why we do it. I love winning and competing and that's a big reason why i caddy um yeah it's a it's a life-changing moment a lot of great opportunities coming for nick and i you know in the next year or so and hopefully we can build on that starting this week here at, uh, starting this week here at, at riviera what does it mean for you for your future going to play you guys going to the majors together yeah um Obviously with this win, it brings a lot of opportunities for us. You know, obviously the Masters, Nick's never been to the Masters. So I'm sure he's super excited. It gets us a little bit closer to uh, the Olympic team and obviously the uh, President's Cup is next year, but still it gets him in the picture for these bigger events and gets us into, you know, some majors and some world events and, you know, just a, a lot of big opportunities that this win has provided for us. Uh, this is my 19th overall year on the PGA Tour. Uh, I started caddying, um, a buddy of mine made it, we were playing the mini tours in Florida, my buddy of mine made it on tour and asked me to caddy for him and little, you know, first tournament of my career, we were in the last group on Sunday and I've been doing it ever since. Um, as far as Nick and I go, Nick's a great boss, great guy to work for, uh, we have a great relationship and uh, you know, it's, it's not mostly business, we do a little, uh, dinners here and there like tonight for instance but uh, just a great guy a great guy to work for what was your favorite part about last week as a caddy obviously pebble beach is one of my favorite events uh, the views and the courses are just you know as good as you can get anywhere in the world um, I, I love caddying there i've never missed that tournament in my career and it meant a lot to win that golf tournament you know at pebble beach you know historic historic golf course just one of those that one of those wins that it's just Historic. <laughs> Did you get nervous at all out there this weekend? Of course, you know, I, I always get, uh, not nervous nervous, but obviously I have to be the one that's the calm one and to make sure that he knows that I'm calm and that helps keep your player calm. calm. But yeah, you know, I was a little nervous on that first tee and then it became, um, the weather became so tough that I, nerves didn't have time to play a factor in, in the game. I mean, we just had to focus exactly on what we were doing out there. And, you know, after he, um, after he birdied 17, I, I think we had a, you know, a four shot lead after that and, and 18 was, was great. We got a little bit of relief, you know, a four shot lead and played the hole great and hit it. Uh, made a five and won by four. It was great. Anything you told him during the round that was different than other other days? The only thing I, I told him, um, kind of not pep talk wise, but thing was on uh, you know just kind of his swing got a little bit short and a little quick. And on the fifteenth tee, I just said get back in rhythm on the on the tee, and he piped it right down the middle. And I think from there on, I mean his rhythm was back. And basically, didn't have to say much to him.